fair amount of time warming up, about like 10 minutes, 12 minutes or so. Okay, let me get the timer going. And then we'll get into a core workout, a quick like 10 minute core workout, and then we'll do the rest of the stretching. Knee tucks, okay? Pull those knees to a spot right in front of that chest and then pull it on your hands. I got some, all right, cool, all right, cool, awesome. Thank you guys for the music stuff. Maybe in about three weeks if we're still in quarantine, you guys can let me know what you want me to shave my face in. Exaggerate getting those knees up. Try not to lean back like me. Okay, pull it nice and tall. Nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. Oh, that's fine. Awesome. Give me some uh, quad stretches here. I want you to bring that heel to your butt. Reach up as high as you can. Heel to your butt as high as you can. Gonna look this way. I want you to feel a stretch here just for a second or two. We're not doing this for very long. I went to the grocery store today. All Easter candy is on sale for like cents, FYI. 15 more seconds here. As long as you can. If you want to come up on that toe, you are more than welcome to. Oof. Awesome. All right, you guys can relax. I want you to step out wide, shift one weight to one side, and then keep those hips low, shift those hips to the other side. Okay? Back and forth here, back and forth. Try to not move up and down with those hips. Try to just keep them low. The lower you go, the more you should feel that. And the wider you get those feet, the better as well. Try to get those hips just a little bit lower here. I don't care what you do with your hands. This is the side, what I'm doing here. Almost like a little typewriter with your hips. Back and forth, ding, maybe go a little lower. And back, ding, go a little lower. Well, that's fun, that'd be a cool little move. Typewriter squats. All right, walk it out, walk it out. Inchworms, guys, reach as high as you can. Hands on the floor, walk those hands out. High plank, walk those hands back. Straight knees would be excellent. We're Warm it up here, so as high as you can. Walk those hands out. Keep on moving, we got about 40 seconds to go. Okay, it tells you when everybody joins, so I'm just uh, uh, always afraid that somebody's gonna be like, this is not a good exercise. Walk those hands on out. Fifteen more seconds. If you want to add a push-up, you're more than welcome to do that. But remember, we're just warming up. This is the, the move. This is the class that we're doing, so you guys can get out of your chair and get a little warm on your Friday. Stay here in this position. Stay here in a high plank position here. Right foot to right hand. Take that left hand up to the sky. Reach as high as you can here, okay? We're gonna come back down, switch legs, right hand up, okay? Show that chest to the sky. We're going back and forth in this position here. Slow and controlled. We're holding for a second or two. And there's gonna be one move today that would actually be beneficial if you had socks on. But if you don't, there's also going to be an exercise today that would be not be beneficial if you have socks on. So pick your poison. Doesn't matter what you're wearing on your feet. And you guys can.
can relax. All right, what I want you guys to do on your knees here, okay? One foot all the way out. Okay, sorry, I'm in the chat. But knee on the floor, one foot all the way out. I want you to try to reach that foot as far as you can and then come back. Reach that foot as far as you can and come back. You're essentially sliding that foot this way and then pulling back, hands are on the floor. Okay, hands on the floor. Awesome. Let's switch up the legs. Here, we're sliding. Really almost, if you can do a split this way, excellent. But for those people who are not as well versed in the splits, this is how we're gonna do this move, okay? Really feeling the stretch all on the inside, that groin, a little bit of that hamstring. All right, switch legs again. I want you to take that foot forward, okay? And I want you to put some weight on it, lean forward this way, knee is on the floor, back behind you, and push into it, hamstring stretch. One stretch here with the knee on the floor, hamstring stretch, okay? We're rocking back and forth. This isn't the happiest on your knee. You can grab a towel, like the one on my radiator. Switch legs. Okay, out far. One stretch here. Boy, it's nice to move. You can keep your hands on the floor or you can keep your hands up. It's up to you. I just want you to feel the back part of your thigh and maybe on the inside of your thigh. Okay? Back and forth. Three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. A high plank position. We got some mountain climbers. Let's go. Regular mountain climbers. Pull your knees in between your elbows. Back and forth. As many times as you can. And if you have socks, you can just slide them on. Nice way to get warmed up, guys. We got two moves after this. Drive those knees back and forth. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Check the chat. Oh, no, my face is getting hot. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand on up. Last two here. I want you to get a wide foot. Can't see your side. Or I'm sorry. Right hand on the right thigh. You're sliding that hand down. Trying to touch that heel. Torso is straight. A little bit straighter than what you see here. And then come on up. Okay. It's all about keeping that straight posture. Send those hips back. To the left. Awesome. We have one more here. I don't care what you do with this hand, it just looks prettier up here. Switch sides. Slide that thigh, slide that hand down. And if you can, show me your chest. Show me your chest. This guy, probably not the most beneficial way you can pull off this move. But we're going back and forth here, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Last one, hands on up, as high as you can. And we're focusing on this point here. We're just doing a little rotation, okay? A little rotation, we're focusing on that belly button. Those hips stay right where they are. And you're just doing some big circles here. Hands on up. In reverse directions. You'll notice that your hands get slower and come down slower and slower. Every so often with every circle, push them up a little higher. It's just enough stretch for those shoulders and those lats as it is to understand how you move 
each section of your spine. Three, two, and one. You guys take a rest. Okay, you feeling warm? Give me a little fire emoji or something on the, along those lines. Grab some water. And I still have this ginger ale bottle. Isn't that so funny? Okay. We got a cir uh, core circuit for you. Okay. We're going to have, again, three exercises. One minute each, three times through. Okay, I'm going to show you those now. Oh, hi, Cece and Sophia. And Cece, come and Joe. Hi, everyone. So, the first move that we're going to have is actually not a mobility move. It's a stability move. Awesome. You guys are feeling good with those fire emojis. It's a stability move. So, what I want you guys to do is just a regular plank, except we're going to make it a little more difficult. Here, normally in a plank, you have your elbows right under your shoulders. What I want you guys to do is not change a damn thing, except bring those elbows a little farther forward this way, okay? So your shoulders are a little bit closer to your body than your elbows are, okay? So I know the chat's in the way. Here is what you normally look like. Here is what I want you to look like. For every inch you bring those elbows forward, it's gonna make it that much more difficult, okay? All right, the other one is you're gonna do a down dog, and then take one hand, reach for that toe, and then come back. Take one hand, reach for that toe, and come back, all right? So you're doing like a little down little dog position here. You're reaching for the toe and coming back. Reaching for the toe, come back, okay? We got a minute of that. And the last one, cool. The last one we got is an overhead crunch. So it's like a half hollow body, okay? So you're gonna be here, hands above your head, this way, and we're gonna be pulsing, okay? We're gonna be pulsing. The farther you get your hands back, the harder it'll be. The first 30 seconds we're gonna pulse, the last 30 seconds we're gonna hold, okay? Let me guys, let me know if you guys have any questions. That's your core circuit. I don't know why I wore pants. I'm gonna have to roll these guys up. All right, give me some questions or concerns. Get yourself ready in some way. Today is in mobility and ab day, so we gotta, Get those abs in, okay? Get your water. The first move is going to be that extended arm plank. Get ready to stay put. All right, we feeling good? Looks like it. My body is here. Okay, cool. Here we go, guys. Three exercises, one minute each move, three times through with a minute break in between. Or you can just follow me. Extend arms plank and down. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this is the move that if you're wearing socks, it's probably not gonna be the easiest, all right? You don't have any uh, way, okay, to like pull or friction on your feet to uh, keep your feet from sliding behind you, except for your core. It's a little bit more difficult than uh, wearing shoes or bare feet, or maybe even on a carpet, okay? Uh, do I see something? I see a question, hold on. Let's do this, yeah. Let's do this. All right, hold this position, come on. And right after this, we have those down dogs. Extended arm planks are not the easiest thing to do, but you make it harder, walking those elbows forward, you make it easier walking those elbows back. If a regular plank is all you can give me right now, that's all you can give me. Three, two, one, awesome. Woo, that's like a break in between two. All right, down dog, attach those toes. Tap those toes. Back and forth. Remember guys, three minutes of core work is a long time, okay? It's designed that way. So if you want a little extra, you guys can go the whole three minutes. If you guys don't, you guys need to take a break. Those breaks you take at your own pace and at your own time. 20 seconds. This one isn't the easiest if you're wearing socks either. Push 
Let's do it. Push through. Three, two, one. All right, flip over on your back. Hands on up, pulses. We're pulsing, okay? Those shoulder blades in an ideal world are not touching the floor. You're just burning out here. And if your low back stays on the floor, I'd be the happiest person in the world. Work them out, just regular pulses. Three, two, one, and hold. Up, 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 30 second plank. Or the, oh, sorry, 30 second plank. 30 second crunch hold. Hands behind your head to make it harder. Hands over here to make it easier. Shoulder plates off the ground. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tongue out helps, guys. Tongue out helps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, okay. One minute rest. One minute rest. Team Bean. Hey, Christine. All right. How are you feeling? I got my water. Two more rounds of that guy. Remember, guys, that minute or those three minutes of activity, back to back to back. That so, if you want a little bit of extra, you can push yourself all the way through. If you need to take a break, you can take your breaks at your own pace. Cool, I like the thumbs up. Awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this, like these playlists, man. These are all two favorite playlists. Big fan. 10 seconds, guys. Extend arms plank. Shake it off. Shake off all the pain that you just went through. Three, two, one. Core burning, yeah, I know. <laughs> when you're only focusing on core for a three minutes straight, three times through, I mean, it's gonna be burning. <sighs> Summer's right around the corner. Ooh. I'm cheating a little bit, I'm using this wall. <laughs> Emily Avon. Little Emily Avon. The puzzle master. Emily, we're working on cores. Hop on in. Hold this flank. Hold this extended arm flank. Two. One. Down dog, down dog. Tap those toes. Back and forth. Left to the left ankle, right to the right ankle. Or toes. If you want to go to the ankle, you can go to the ankle. If you want to go to the toes, you can go to the toes. It's irrelevant. But it's also fun to pick your own body part to touch. Forget I said that. Here. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. Hey, man. Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I've been saying this for whole, whole, wrong this whole time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Two, one. Flip it on over. Flip it on over. Hands on up. Let's do some crunch pulses. Here we go, come on. Little mini pulses. Stay at the top. Hands behind your head. Pulsing through. Keep it on up. Oops. Hope you guys are sweating just like me. Pulse through, pulse through. And you got a 30 second hold. Three, two, one, up. with the music. Shoulder blades off the floor. Make sure you feel the burn. Feel the burn. 10 seconds. 
You'll notice the, hand, the farther your hands get behind your back, the harder it'll be. Two, one, you guys can relax. Okay. I'm so sorry, Emily. <laughs> All right, guys, check it on out. We got one more circuit of those core, of that core workout. And then we got uh, some stretching, some static stretching, some move mobility stuff. You guys are good, man. Pushing through. No concerns, no modifications. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I On Tuesday, I had a mustache. So again, if you guys want pictures, you let me know. Oh, I'm drinking water. I'm drinking water, but it's in a, a ginger ale bottle because I'm a loser. I don't know. I don't know. It's just what happens. And I never changed it. Back to planks. Two, one, let's go. No, I'm not going to use the wall this time. Extend the arms out, come on. This is the last extended arms plank. I know a regular plank for a minute is a long time. An extended arm plank is harder. Find your zone here, guys, find your zone. Bring it back. 20 seconds, come on. <laughs> Yay for recycling. <sighs> Breathe through it, guys. Three, two, one. Down dog, let's do it. <sighs> right hand to right toe, left hand left toe. You can even switch it up and do an alternating pattern. Back and forth, touch those toes. Remember guys, it's the last circuit. Hope today is laundry day. Cause you guys will have washboard abs. By the time this is up. Oh, gracious. Goodness gracious. Keep on moving. Three, two, one. All right. Overhead crunch. Let's do it. Hey, pulse. Come on. Small movements, small movements. I keep thinking we're doing big ones. Just a little bit up, an inch. Your chest moves, an inch up and an inch down. And we're holding for 30 in three, two, one, up. Right on time. Again, wherever your hands are, that tells you how hard it is. The farther you hold them back, the harder this should be. Breathe uh, uh. through it. Five, four, three, two, and you guys can relax. Woo! Okay. Everybody feels good after doing ab stuff. Guys. Quick round of applause, very nice. Um, I want to know that I'm laughing at your dad jokes. Oh, I want you, oh, thank you. <laughs> My hell with the washboard thing. I got the worst jokes, which makes them the best. <sighs> Schweppes. It's just as good as holding ginger ale as it is holding water. Uh, Candy is literally right here, and she, she's right here, like, that's her face, <laughs> as you can see. She will be doing abs. She'll come doing uh, down dog with us. So, anyway, guys, grab a mat, 
get to the floor in some way, shape, or form. Okay, let's start doing some uh, some static stretches. Okay, and don't worry, at the end, Candy will always make an appearance. She's just taking her mid morning nap right now. We're doing mid, -mo mid morning, midday mobility, she's doing midday naps. Okay. Oops. All right, so what I want, want you guys to do, if you guys have a chair or something, I want you to put your hands in the chair. Okay, I want you to put your hands in the chair and just sit those head, that head through. Okay, feel the stretch in that armpit. If you don't have a desk or a chair or, or, or a bed, you can just do a child's pose, which I'm just gonna do child's pose with you all guys, okay? So walk those hands on out, hips back to your heels, sink that head through and hold that position. Here we go, this is what it looks like. You'll hold this position for a minute. Okay, you're holding this position for a minute. All right, you can say you can do one arm at a time. Okay, I'm actually gonna use my desk off camera here. Okay, and just sit back, let those arms fall through. Okay, this is a great opener for people who are kind of around it at their desk. If you really want, you can take those palms and face them up towards the sky or face them together and just sink through. Maybe get a little bit deeper with each breath. Every time I do this stretch, I start shaking. Three, two, and one. All right, while you're here, guys, on your knees, I want you to take one shin, okay? Hands in front of you, one shin, and almost make it parallel to your hands, okay? So you're gonna be in this little pigeon pose here. This foot goes up like that because the chat's in the way. I just want you guys to see pigeon pose here. But what I want you guys to do is you can keep your hands on the floor, but take that opposite foot, and just kind of sweep it around. Out to the front, you can sit back and sweep it back to pigeon pose. Sit down on it and back to pigeon pose. Okay? Give me four of these guys. Keep those hips as low as possible. I'm gonna look a little congested because this isn't my uh, best exercise. So you can switch legs, guys. You can switch legs. Okay? Sweep it around. This way, there. As far as you can would be the best. So it's half pigeon, half little hamstring move here. All right, give me one more here, guys. Give me one more on this side. We're slipping around. And back to pigeon breath here. Awesome. Stay on this knee. Get that heel under you. The same thing we, got, we did in the beginning. Take that foot, slide it out as far as you can. You're almost doing a straddle split. One knee is bent, one knee is straight. Hands on the floor. Get that, those hips. As low as you can go, I want 30, 30 seconds here. You're gonna support yourself with your hands. Okay, you're here, you can use that chair, the, or that desk, or that uh, bed, or that couch that you used in the beginning for the, uh, strep, the lat stretch. Or you can be on the ground like me. Okay, rock back, side to side, or front to back, with those hips. Find out where you feel it most and stick there. Let's switch up, let's switch sides. Excellent, rock back, front to back. We're going through this sequence one more time after we're done. We got two more exercises to pull off in this stretching sequence. I always feel, I always feel so much better after I stretch than any other type of exercise I do. Always. And you guys can relax on your knees still. I want you to take your hands, reach for your heels, okay? 
and then sit that belly button up, okay? You can be in this position here, if you share the same inflexibility as I do, okay? Or you can come up to those hips and try to reach for those heels this way, like you're, uh, like you're on the post, like you're posted on the front of a ship, you know? But for my people who are not so uh, gifted, <laughs> you can come here this way. Just opening up that chest, you should feel something in your shoulder, something in your low back, and we're holding here. It may not look like much if you're not extended up, but you're doing something. Two, one, a last minute here, guys, last minute. I want a B-boy kick through, Avi's favorite. You're gonna be in a quad position. Okay, so knees are hovering off the floor. Take your right foot. Kick it on out this way so your hips are just off the floor, back to that quad position, and then kick the other side, okay? I want you guys to get those hips as close to that floor as you can, but that chest nice and high. We're back and forth here. We're rotating, kick that opposite leg through. The left leg goes to the right side. The right leg goes to the left side. If you're really feeling good, we do the advanced move. The second time through. Three, two, one. Take a little bit of a break. Shake it out. Spend a little extra time on things that didn't feel as good the first time through. We're gonna hop right back into it in about 30 seconds. Take this time to really kind of focus on where my shoulder's tight. Yeah, I wasn't able to do that camel move as well as I wanted to. That pigeon pose with a circle wasn't as happy as I thought it was gonna be. Let me know, yeah, yeah, people kick throughs. Let me know, uh, but spend a little extra time on those. If we're moving on to the next move, you guys can stay on the one that is gonna make the most benefit for you, okay? All right. <laughs> Back to that last stretch. Let's go. Hold this position here. Using a chair, using a bed, or child's pose, up to you. Palms facing each other if you want a little extra. You can rock back side to side, or you can do one arm at a time to get a little bit of a deeper stretch, okay? Take this time to figure out what you need. You're an individual. You're not a group. Fifteen seconds here, guys. Fifteen seconds. And focus on that breath, guys. Two, one. Awesome, shake that out. Give me some pigeon poses here. Shin parallel with those hands, okay? That, that foot sweeps out, comes in front. Sweeps behind. This is the move that was easier if you have socks on. FYI. Okay. Spend some time with the real pigeon pose, guys. Spend some time with the real pigeon pose. If you're really doing this guy, if you're really doing this right, that shin is parallel with your hands that way, right in front of you. All right, guys, switch sides, switch sides. This isn't my best side. Sweep it around, pigeon. If you need a modification like me, you can uh, have that shin deviate from parallel. You can have that shin deviate from parallel.
Give me two more, guys. Give me two more. Sweep around. Hold that foot. Back to pigeon one more time. And you guys can relax one knee. We're doing that straddle, str straddle stretch. Out nice and wide. Out nice and wide. Hold this position. We got a minute here. Or 30 seconds, I'm sorry. Breathe through it. Rock back and forth on those hips. Don't forget all the burning that you put your abs through. Mild discomfort is what we're shooting for for the intensity of these stretches. Mild discomfort would be excellent. If you're not getting there, try as much as you can to manipulate your body so you can switch legs. But if you're going too far, don't be afraid to take it back. That is my recommendation. Focus on you. Remember, if this feels good and you want to, or bad, depending on how you want to treat yourself today, don't be afraid to stay here. Two, and relax on those knees. Hands to your heels, chest up, belly up as high as you can pull this one off. You're on the front of a ship. Staying here for a minute. Open up that chest, open up those shoulders. Focus on that breath. kick-throughs, okay, in a four, in a quad position, right foot up, if you want to get the advanced move, I want you to push that chest to the sky, and those hips up, down, back to that quad, kick out, push up, here, that left leg stays straight, back, your right leg stays straight here, that's the advanced move here. Maybe take this slow or fast. I always feel like I'm a dancing line to this move. Two, one, and back to that quad position. You guys can relax. Shake it on out. If you guys want to spend a little extra time on places that you think need a little more attention, you are more than welcome to do that. How does everybody feel? I'm, I'm assuming pretty damn good. Like I promised, come on baby. Come on, you guys are all set. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Meg. Oh, hi, Meg. The funniest person I know. Come on, baby. Come on. She's doing her stretches. Sophie, awesome. Come on, babe. Candy, get over here. <laughs> um, oops, sorry. Here we go. That's the baby. I'm going to say hi. That's a good girl. Guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you guys have the, a great rest of your Friday and an excellent weekend. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. My Instagram is down there or shoot BKBX a DM. That's totally fine. And she was napping the whole time and you guys can tell good, good morning. The candy girl. I will see you guys all on Tuesday. Oh yeah.